Hi, in this project I have tried to simulate the behavior of a differential drive robot. For this purpose, I have designed the CAD model of a differential drive robot using a CAD software like Autodesk Inventor and brought the model into the MATLAB using the Inventor to Sim Mechanics interface. So once I brought the model into the MATLAB, I have framed the kinematics equation of the differential drive robot using Simulink and I have used the Simulink state flow to control the behavior of the robot. This is the CAD model of the robot where you can see the body of the robot is attached to four joints in a revolutionary manner. This is where the wheel of the robot will be connected. So once I import the model into the MATLAB, the wheel will rotate with respect to the body in This is all the kinematics equation that has been designed in Simulink to control the behavior of the robot. Normally the differential drive robot has two velocities VL and VR. So if we increase the VR, the robot moves in this direction in the angle of theta. And if we increase the VL, the robot moves in this direction in the angle of theta. Based on this, we got this kinematics equation, the angular velocity the, and the position vectors to control the behavior of the robot. This is the CAD model of the robot imported into MATLAB using the CAD to SIM mechanics interface. And uh, these are all the blocks that controls the robot. And these are all the velocity inputs VL and VR which is used to control the behavior of the robot. And this is the state flow which is designed to control the robot state. We have four states namely right, forward, reverse and left. So based on the velocity inputs, the state of the robot is determined. First we have the input of minus 1 and minus 1 to the robot. Now let's see what the robot behavior is. Now the state indicates the robot is in forward state. You can see the robot is moving in the forward direction. Now if I change the velocity inputs to exactly the reverse polarity, just like reversing the polarity of the motor, the state of the robot changes. Now the robot is in reverse direction. Let's see the behavior of the robot. You can see the robot is moving in reverse direction. So based on my velocity inputs, the robot changes.